Hello and welcome, Glorious Badger here. Today we've got another thing to unbox. Thing? I mean, Dominion Zephon. So, obviously we've got the very shiny wrapper on. Uh, we need to remove that before we can actually see it, because otherwise you get blinded. We don't want that. So, we're going to use this ancient blade, which is going to come in handy, because we are going to also build him today. And in the future video, we also have another Horus Heresy miniature to build and open. One base. Amazing. Okay. Right. We got the sprue. We have got the instructions right here. Okay, so, so that's building the torso and body. Putting him on his little rock. Got his big sword. He's got his little bobbly shoulder pads. No rules. Backpack. So I will be I will be building this right now. It's gonna be pretty quickly. Pretty quick. There are no instructions. Just the box. Suggested paints. The fist and red, Kizzler Flesh, Dawnstone, Abaddon Black, Retributor Armor, and Lead Belcher. About it. Pretty, pretty uh, basic. Let's get cracking. Pair of clippers. I do have a blade, as you saw, but this blade is actually pretty old. However, we will make it work. Because we're nothing if not stubborn. Now, 1A is parts 1 and 2, so. And then we're going to look for part 3 as well, which is his waist. Make the most of that super zoom. You can see this little, sorry, notch, a little sort of post there. And then this is a bit of sprue we need to chop off. So you do need to be careful. You can't just run the blade across the entire thing. As I have done in the past many times. Just have to be slightly controlled with it. I was definitely not nervous then about that. Saying, saying be uh, precise and then just chopping the entire thing off like a lunatic. Um, okay, let's glue this bad boy together. Hopefully this glue is going to work. I'll use this. Or... I also use this. I've got... <laughs> I've got my Lamartes conversion uh, bonts on the top. And there's an Instagram, instagram.com forward slash glorious badge. Looking at the camera while squeezing this. Oh, hello. We have got some glue finally. Okay. There we go. We do have this the waist or the lower legs. Lower legs, upper waist, hips. This. That. <laughs> That's how it goes in. All right, so there is a slight twist to the body. So if the crotch is facing forward, he turn it's turned to the right like that. So get some glue in there. Lovely jubbly. Got the legs next. Parts four, which is this leg right here. Tactical rock. So he's attached to his tactical rock. And then legs six and seven. Or part six and seven, I should say, not legs six and seven. Got the legs, got the legs ready. I think. I'm gonna get this one done first. Then go to that. Keep some pressure there. Glue this bad boy on. Not 100% sure how we're gonna be painting this guy. Not 100% sure. Um, apart from red. No doubt you'll be able to find it out on my Instagram at some point. Okay, so that is one leg. Uh, we've got to get his right leg on, so it's this, this bit, and attached to da -da 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 -da. serrated edges, which match up with the serrated edges on here. Okay. I just had to double check. Keep some pressure on there. The base here, obviously. Fabulous stuff. You have to attach it to this. Righty hey. Okay. 
really drying. Uh, we need parts eight and five. So here we go. It's part five. Part number eight. Part number five. Right here. That goes on. Yeah, it looks. It fits right on the end of this uh, pad right here. There's a little notch in here for it to sit. So this is where we. This is a struggle, no doubt. So let's get this in place on the, the old kneecap. There we go. So the blood drop is going straight down the center of the leg. Now we've got the... This bit. Going on his cross, basically, his belt. Get it into place, just like that. You've made it this far, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, as I've said a few times before, I'm hoping to improve the quality of my YouTube videos. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I spent quite a while streaming. Unfortunately, that does not mean video editing. So we'll put a bit of glue right on that bit there to attach it to the, to the leg armor. Right, we're going to plonk this down onto here, pretty much the center, in fact. It'll give us something nice to work from once it has melted on. Roughly the center, just like so. Part 9 and 10. Those are his arms. So there is one arm. Yoink. And yoink. The only question I'm having at the moment is, I know I've got, I've seen on the sprue, the only question I'm having right now is, do I go with the, the helmet? Or do I go with the face? It does attach to the sword though, so I'm going to do, in fact, I'm going to take the sword off now because that is the next piece that goes on. So I'm going to take the sword off now see how it looks next to the hand. The bit I always hate. We do have these little two little pegs which should make things a lot easier in fact. <laughs> a little Buddha glue. You might be asking yourselves, Badger, why didn't you use that lot of glue with the brush in? Well, I purchased this a while ago. I'm trying to get rid of it all. I don't want to throw it away. So I'm just going to use it until it's done with and just suffer until then. Um, okay. This arm. Right. So. Now we've got the big sword of doom. I think what I am going to do is whatever head I do decide to paint, I will paint separately. Hoping I'm doing a good job editing this. Badger, future Badger. You better do a good job. Righty ho, hey, so we've got this bit of, we may very well use the brush and I'm gonna use a tiny bit of glue. We may have to use some more of it. Uh, we're gonna use a tiny bit there and some here. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh first time's a charm. First time is an absolute charm, just a bit of pressure. All right, so we are back. Here he is. Not that we really went anywhere. I just had to wait for it to glue 100%. So we got the shoulder pads. Two parts. So no longer do we get the weird... No longer do we have the weird uh, shaped bobbly shoulder pads. They are actually fully 3D, rather than having them in one piece and these side ones being a weird, at a weird shape. So these are now fully, fully 3D. Right, this is where the fun begins. Lovely jubbly, you can see there is a gap down the center. I'm not 
I'm gonna wait for this to fully fully heal up and then um try and smooth out any inconsistencies. This is the one issue that I know I knew we we're gonna have as soon as I saw these two part shoulder pads, this line down the center. Um it's already irritating me just looking at it. <laughs> However, we have uh, shoulder pad 14 as well. I forgot we zoomed in. We have shoulder pad 14 to do as well. This is right shoulder pad. We will worry about both of those later. I will worry about zooming in right now instead. Okay. So, what have we got? We've got to build the jetpack parts 15 and 16. Let's get this shoulder pad off before I completely forget. Bonk. Get this jetpack done. Yeah, I can imagine you getting one of these kits and converting it into a smash captain or something along those lines. Okay, so let's this. Uh oh. Okay, well. Uh, shh. Oh, hello, Betty. There we go. I think painting it in subassembly might be the good move. This, the head, and the main body itself are going to be all in the subassembly. Like the, the jetpack nozzles that we need to glue in, etc. Those, those parts 18 and 20, 19 and 17. Okay, so these nozzle, these, sorry, these uh, bits, those are locating nub there. These go into the jets up here. The smaller bits go into, yeah, and there are uh, sculpted divots so they should be orientated the correct direction. Now the locating divot for the nub is down there. So it will go in this direction. Okay, there we have one jet. Turbine thing. Okay, and got the nozzle. Trying to get the orientation of this little this little bit. Getting me slightly I think it's this direction. Definitely a direction. I don't know if it's the correct direction. It appears to be the right one. Managed to get it that time. Uh, we're going to try and replicate that now with the other side, the other two bits. Okay, so there is our little notch down there. Align it. First time's a charm, hopefully. Straight in. Much better the second time around. God. Both things, in fact. But we got there. Actually, we haven't done the other one. We haven't done this little bugger yet. Okay, let's, uh... Let's do this bad boy. Alright, so... There we go. Second time was a charm. Just trying to get the angles correctly. It's a bit of a bit of a fiddle. I just need to do... Okay, 22 and 21. Left hip. Hopefully. Thank you, Dakey. So we'll go on. Just like, just like that. Just like that. All right. There's one on this side as well. That. Or at least it will do. Um, there is a bit of there is a notch in the grenades there, and there's obviously notches on the back. So we just got to try and make sure we do a good job of this. Oh, crikey! Okay. A good job of this. There we go. Feels like it's the grenades are locked into place on the corner of this the butt plate. I think we're good. I think we are gravy. Okay, so that is that geezer. 
There's his helmet. Shoulder pads. I'm going to I'm going to do this one um, later. Shoulder pad goes on rather chunkily there. As you can see. There we go with the sh that shoulder pad. I've got to make sure there's clearance here. That we good. We are groovy there. Happy days. Checking. Yep. It looks like we're good. All right. So this is done. Um, I will decide which head we go with. Be it the beaky boy. Or indeed the fleshy one, which is right here. And that's that's all there is. Um... I'm going to try and do a painting video for this. Where we get him painted up. You can find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash glorious badger. You've made it this far, I could also say, could you like and subscribe? And, uh, well, you could hit the bell for notifications. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you. And goodbye.